All right, we're down here by the pond. We're gonna go ahead and get our sample. We're gonna take our bottle of water, super easy. Okay, here's the instructions. This is gonna tell you how to get the sample and what to do. And they're gonna take that sample and they're gonna run it through a lab and they're gonna find out what is going on with your pond. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike and you're watching Triple T Acres. And we are down here by the pond today and we are gonna be testing our water. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to test your water, how to send out the samples, a company that I use to get the sample from, and the reasons why you might want to do a water sample. So if you have problems with your pond, or if you want to keep a pond looking really nice, this video is for you. We're gonna figure it out together, and I'm gonna show you just how to do it. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around. I hope you enjoy the video. All right, this is the water testing kit that I received from Natural Waterscapes. I'm actually excited to announce that we have partnered up with Natural Waterscapes and they have provided this. So full disclosure, they have provided this for us. Okay, so if you were going to order a water testing kit from Natural Waterscapes, this is what it's gonna look like. So they're gonna send you this box and inside the box, you're going to get some water testing instructions. And we're gonna thoroughly go over this here in just a minute. They're gonna provide you with two Ziploc bags and this is where you're going to get a sample of your plants because not only do they provide you with a water test, they're actually gonna give you a plant identifier too and give you some tips on how to handle the plants that are in your pond. You're going to get two freezer bags and this is really, really important. So when you get this open, you want to get these in the freezer before you do your water test. Once you get your water test, you're gonna to wanna to get these in and get them shipped out as soon as possible. We have a pair of gloves, a bottle that is going to get your water sample in, and then they have a return shipment. So everything that you see here that they shift it in, you're actually going to ship it back to them in the same container, in the same insulated sleeve, and get it there. Let's go over why you would want to do a water test, and then I'm gonna show you how to do a water test. Okay, so you have a pond and you're having issues with algae and major plant growth and maybe some water clarification problems. Maybe you've had a fish kill and you can't really figure out why. You keep going on the internet and you buy copper sulfate to handle the algae for it to just come right back. So here is one step that you can take to find out the reason why or the root cause of why you have an algae problem. With natural waterscapes, what they do is they have a full questionnaire and we're gonna go over that here in just a minute. They wanna find out more about your pond, the depth, what type of runoff it has. Do you have aeration? They're gonna find out all those things and they're gonna take that sample and they're gonna run it through a lab and they're gonna find out what is going on with your pond. They're gonna find pH levels. They're gonna check for cyanobacteria a lot of different things they're gonna test for. So look at it like this. If you had a disease, and let's just say algae is your disease in the pond. When you go to the doctor, they don't just look at you and just treat you. The best thing for them to do is run a blood test. And for instance, your, your white blood cell count is high. Well, that tells them that you have possibly an infection going on. It's kind of the same concept with your pond. This is like the blood test of your pond. So take a water sample, get it to natural waterscapes, They'll give you a diagnosis and they'll give you lots of tips. And the nice thing about natural waterscapes is they have all of everything that they need. So everything they're gonna to recommend to you, they're gonna have it in stock. So you can actually go ahead and order it through them and they'll ship it right to your house. So any of that kind of information, if you're wanting to buy some of the stuff, it's gonna be down in the description. But let's go get the stuff, let's get the sample and get it shipped off so I can find out what is going on in my pond. It looks good right now, but I'll tell you, it's better to be proactive than reactive, and I wanna find out what is going on in this water. All right, here's that questionnaire I was talking about out by the pond. So you don't wanna miss this. This is going to be included back into your water sample uh, when you ship it back. So here's the instructions. This is gonna tell you how to get the sample and what to do and on the back is gonna be that questionnaire. So make sure you go over this and try to answer them the best that you can. Sometimes people don't know the age of their pond or maybe their average depth, but do your best, give them the most information. The more information you can give them, they even ask you if you wanna send some pictures that way too. The more information that you can send them, the better diagnosis they're gonna have on your water and give you the proper recommendations to maybe solve any of those issues. So let's get this put away and let's go get those samples and get this thing shipped off. All right, we're down here by the pond. We're gonna go ahead and get our sample. We're gonna take our bottle of water, super easy. And uh, reading the directions, they want you to get your sample away from your water source. So if you have a spring fed area, you do not wanna get your water source from there. They want the water to be the most stagnant water in it, not the fresh stuff coming in. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in here. I'm completely away from a water source. 
and you're gonna to wanna to fill the bottle all the way up. Okay. Now, we can also get a weed sample, and I have a couple weeds here that I don't really know what they are. I think I know what the other one is, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that to them. And what you wanna do is you wanna take a paper towel, and they want you to do it on a paper towel because they want it to be wet. You do not want the weeds to dry out. So I'm gonna pluck a weed off here, stick it in my paper towel here, and then I have another weed down here that I'm gonna reach down and see if I can pull it up. Okay. And what we're gonna do with those freezer bags, and these, these towels are nice and wet, I can actually dampen it up just a little more. And we're gonna put it individually in the freezer bags or Ziploc bags that they provided here. All right, we've got our weed sample, we've got our water sample. Let's go get this thing packaged away. All right, so we have our samples. We have our water sample and our weed sample, and the only thing left we have to do is get it shipped out. Now, this is really, really important. The same day that you gather your sample should be the same day that you ship it out. They do not want the samples to be really old. Another tip that they actually have on the front here is try to ship between Saturday and Wednesday because if you ship it later in the week, let's say on Friday, it'll actually delay the shipping sometimes because sometimes they don't ship through the weekend. And the sooner they can get the sample, the more accurate results that they're gonna get. I'm gonna get this thing shipped away and I am excited to share the results to you. I'm excited to see what is actually going on in my pond and I'm gonna share all of that with you. So if you guys like this kind of content, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna have lots of information being a partner with Natural Waterscapes to maybe give some tips on your pond and maybe get you on the way to a pond more desirable for you and your family. Guys, that is gonna wrap up the video for today. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.